Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA office of Neal Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to be doing a feature at video on the 7273 PLK series programmable computerized sewing machine. The 7273 PLK series is capable of stitching anywhere from 6 millimeters thick all the way up to 20 millimeters thick material. This machine is also utilized for sewing ropes as well as sewing nylon webbing. It can sew box X and uh, bar tack patterns in nylon webbing as well as uh, W patterns uh, also. But today we have the machine set up to sew uh, about 16 millimeter thick rope. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how the machine works when you're sewing through rope. Um, the type of uh, stitch that we're doing on this rope is most widely used in the arborist industry. We're just going to be doing a folded over section of rope here. Uh, this, this type of lashing is used most often in the arborist industry, also in the safety industry, climbing industry, uh, parachuting industry, and so forth. So the first thing that we have to do when we go to run the machine is we're going to turn the power button on for the motor, which activates the computer and also the uh, motor for the sewing machine. You'll see the menu come up on the screen. And then the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is select this uh, lower, uh, this blue button right down here uh, that, that has a picture of a sewing machine on it. That indicates that we're prepping the machine to sew this particular pattern. So we're going to go ahead and press that button right there. That orients the machine in the proper position to begin sewing the pattern. The next thing we do is insert the material into the machine and then I'm going to press the pedal mechanism down here which is an air activated clamp mechanism. I'm going to go ahead and press this right now. You probably can't see this in the frame but there are two pedals down here, one on the right, one on the left. The one on the right is, act is used to activate the clamping mechanism. The one on the left is used to activate the sewing machine when you're ready to sew the pattern. So I'm going to push the pedal on the right hand side and that, that squeezes the clamp together uh, so that it holds the rope in an even pattern or in an, even, uh, in an even grip. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and hit the button on the right hand side and the pedal on the left hand side and it begins to sew. And after approximately 30 seconds, you can see that the pattern has been completed. And then what we're going to do is extract the material from the machine. We're going to just go ahead and clip the threads down here, as well as on the bobbin side. We do offer an optional uh, thread cutting um, attachment for this machine, which allows you to uh, cut the thread uh, automatically so that you wouldn't have to use a pair of scissors to cut each piece out. But anyhow, I just want to go ahead and let you guys see for the camera how this looks. You can see that we've got a very even stitch on the top side of the rope as well as on the back side of the rope. Our bobbin thread is a white color for demonstration purposes in this video. And then the top thread, uh, the thread going through the sewing machine is a black color. But this rope is extremely difficult to bend after sewing. You can see that the seaming is extremely tight, and uh, which is exactly what we're looking for in the arborist industry and also the climbing industry. We're looking for a very, very steady stitch, very, very tight stitch. So the uh, 7273 machine is uh, capable of stitching a wide variety of materials including nylon webbing and it's also capable of doing rope in many different thicknesses up to 20 millimeters. So if you have any additional questions about this machine please feel free to contact me at neilre at comcast.net or 330-692-1418. This again is Ryan Neal from Neal Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines and I thank you for your time today.